Hello everyone, Sister here. And boy, what a year has passed. I mean, entire year has now passed. And this year, boy, it has been a lot of events. I mean, it has been so much. I can't even imagine how it feels for an entire year, just... It feels like it was yesterday, it was New Year's Eve for an entire new... for this year. But next day, it is almost over. I mean, this year had passed so fast. It's literally over with a second. Is it one week left? And this year is almost over. And what has happened to this entire year? Wow, well, it has been a lot of events, for example. During the past year that has been, there has been so many, many, many events that has caused a lot of confusions, conflicts or even some sort of disasters but some of the most recent well even beginning of the earliest of this year was when Donald Trump for example when he became president of the United States of America I don't think he was probably the first president which I know is not as politics from the beginning. He wasn't a businessman, but he turned the politics into became a president. To be honest, I never thought that he was going to win. Never. But I was wrong. But still, even when he won this politics it, to be its companion or sorry, campaign to be became to be the president. Just afterwards, it starts a rumors that he had gained this, well, this office with help from some connections to Russians, which he declined as false, and since that has been talking a lot about it, and since that much talk, I have no idea if that's even true or not. I can't even say if I believe it or not. If I had been shown true proof, then we'll say it, but nonetheless. But one other most, I think, during the last few months of this year has been talking about one subject. North Korea. What the heck is going on? Since Trump has somehow... Well, I can understand why Trump is furious about that North Korea had using testing new nuclear weapons which not understand would understand not only Trump but most of the reason the world's leaders of all the world's nations would be afraid as, as afraid of fear that they might be struck down by this North Korean war machines or missiles or anything but all this talk between North Korea and US, there has been so much talk about it lately. And some of this talking was so close, maybe to a third world war, or even worse, a nuclear war. But so far, it hasn't been that, go that far yet. But I'm hoping that this could end soon and that U.S. with U.S. and the U.N., United Nations and some other, maybe some Sweden or other nations can help to prevent this kind of disaster or any sort. Of, I mean, a war. That is the one last thing no one ever really wants since there has been so many years since the last world war. I mean, since third, the Second World War was ended, 
for about 72 years ago, or at least about 70 years. If this would happen to become a new war between US and North Korea, what will it not be sure if the rest of the world will also be affected? I mean, even on a lot of nations around the world that support US cause to stop this war, and maybe they will also be, be can can be targeted for this war as well. So that would lead to a third world war, which many people don't want to happen. Except from the, from that talk on North Korea, it has been many other I, events during this year. I mean, for example, one of those people around the world has been a lot of talk during this a few months ago was the oldest man in the world, a former survivor of one of those extermination camps in Germany, who died at age, of, I think, 113, and that is amazing. I mean, to live for that long, it is, it is unbelievable. I mean, to live so long, for almost a hundred years, that is amazing, but to live almost an like 140 or 130, that would be something impressive. But to live for 100, that is more than people would even know about. And one other people who died, who has been, was one of the oldest, was Violet Brown from Jamaica. She was the last subject to Queen Victoria from the 1800s. She was born one that time. And to live so long, like her and the others, that is something that people should be proud of. But for all of this, what happened this year, with conflict between North Korea, US, and many others, Football players, and but not at all, at least. There has been so much talk, but not of so much conflict. But most recent about this, and then I preferred about this called Me Too campaign. Me Too campaign started in October. I remember it was some uh, some sort of uh, a famous couple of people on Twitter talked about this and they spread like a wildfire and now almost a few months later it has spread a thousand probably a million people around the world has been come forward to this all kinds of branches of media uh, actors writers politicians, even business people. But what I think about it is unspeakable that women would be affected by some sort of things. I mean, it is hard to even believe that many people around the world would be some sort of happy to do this. Some people, like men, and don't say exactly who, but there are some men there out there in the world that has been doing this, what I think, for fun. But that is absolutely wrong about. I mean, absolute wrong. People should not be afraid to be, to say that. Even when women say no, men would always do that. And that is wrong. So, women are strong people. There are a strong community out there with women. Since Me Too campaign just started in October, it has let out hundreds or even 
thousands of women, or even millions, for a good thing, for example, in across the world, all kind of media that they have they have been either touched or even some sort of things which they don't like about, and I will support that women should not be doing being touched like that. So men should stop treating women as property. Women are not items that be owned. They are free spirit people like men are. So from all of this, stop doing that to men. It's not worth it. I mean, if you even do it and then you prove that you have done it, you can end up in jail. Is that even worth it? No. So if women out there in the world, stand up. Be proud. What would you telling other people what have you have been exposed of, even been touched or even some other things? Do you feel proud to say telling the truth what happened? From all the much of this, this year has been a lot of events. New breakthrough from uh, medical, science, space programs. But there was one particular program I, well, not program, but medical experiment, not experiment, but I think it was more a breakthrough, a breakthrough through this medical. I think it was a group of Chinese people, doctors, who managed to separate it ahead from one human to another. But that, those people were only then, were only deceased. But they managed to connect all the, those, the, the nerves, all that with, with the body. And they hoping this kind of technique can help other people in the world, like transfer a head from a living person to another, perhaps a deceased body, to maybe to survive from paralyzation. And that is, is a great breakthrough. Because many years ago, there was a man who lost his both arms in a harvester machine accident. And Many years after that, he got new arms. After many tries and trials and rehabilitation, he managed to get, I think, about almost 90% of his strength and feelings back to his arms. That is one of great success. What else has happened to this year? Wow. Well, there has been so much, I can't even remember all of it. But it has been a lot of disasters, even the war, for example, or conflicts around the Middle East. For example, on the ISIS. I read somewhere that <coughs> the Iraqi army had declared the war against the ISIS completely over. But I'm not so sure about that. Since only Iraqi army has declared the war is over, I have not been confirmed from either U.S. government if they they had released if they say that the war is over, or even the Russian or any other nations. But so far, if others can confirm as well, then I will will have to be believed. Well, what else has happened? Oh, I remember one particular something that has been talking about lately for the last few weeks, and that is about one particular movie, Star Wars: The Last Jedi, which has been seen so much. People have talked about this even a year before the movie was even released, and even the title about it. There was so much discussion about it, theories, 
this kind of also much of debates uh, discussion about what well, how about um, Snoke's origins who he is if he was Palpatine has been returned back to life or he if he was uh, I, either uh, some sort of fallen Jedi has been returned or it could be anything but so far none of them has been even true proven but other on the source was that he was Darth Plagueis, Palpatine's own master that somehow survived but that so far has been debunked as well but this movie was probably one of the greatest and we have now confirmed that Disney has made a 10 year contract of new movie series and even when the current director of The Last Jedi had confirmed that it will be a new trilogy of Star Wars but not of the old characters only with the new ones like Rey, Finn, Poe, BB-8 or many others and they will take place between the episode 8, 1 and 9 those stories might be happening soon and I can look forward to see episode 9 what will happen so far after since episode, episode 8 was over has been a lot of discussions and debate what will happen in episode 9. Some fans think that Snoke will return back to life even he was cut in half in the movie. Since Darth Maul survived even in the Clone Wars half of his body was like a spider but then back to two legs. But I'm not so sure about that. I'm hoping that Snoke doesn't return. He's not, even he was so strong in connection to Force, but to me, Snoke is probably one of the worst Star Wars villains after Grievous, <coughs> Grievous and Palpatine. No, I hope not. And what else can I say about this year recently almost over? Well, it has happened so much that I, I can't even remember all the details about it. It has so much. If the world, if this year world has been no conflicts, no disaster, no no scandals or anything, or any any breakthrough in medicine, science, and this year would probably would be one of the most boring years in history not to even not nothing to to talk about since nothing would something something great would happen no disaster nor nothing if there's nothing it would something great would happen this year would, this year would be probably so much boring that no one would just say ah uh, probably i hope that 2018 would be better than last year since this year nothing happened at all. They were so boring, never happened, nothing happened. But, but nope. This year had a lot of events. And a few of those which I remember. There has been a, some a few, several terror attacks. Both in UK which had three attacks, almost three and then almost after one. Terrible. And here in Sweden we had a terror attack as well. Which was gladly not and that truck who caused that this disaster in, in the capital. It was filled with explosives. But gladly they never detonated. Which I'm grateful. If they had, the casualties would be much, much greater. So far, only five people died. And I say, even if five people are a lot of people, but it could be worse, much worse, and something much worse than I even currently believe. The, the, the casualties numbers could be much higher. But gladly, that never happened. So, I think this year might 
being both great and bad? It depends what you what you think what was bad or great. But if I had to say about what, what the bad things, what about this terror attacks around the world and about this conflict between talking about much this between North Korea and U.S. and some other many other major conflicts around the world as well. But if I had to say one of the great moments, it is when, well, now, for example, one of those medical breakthrough we have mentioned earlier, and uh, some other people that the B2 campaign, campaign has spread something like a wildfire, that is one of the great moments which I think that people should actually stand out and speak out what they have been gone through. No one should be able to go through some sort of things. And so from all of this, I think this year might have these both great and bad moments, but I don't know what other people think if this year has been totally worse for them in their lives or not, because I can't speak for others. But this year has been both bad and good for me. But I can also say this. Over the last few months, I had, or at least this year, I had gained a number of new friends from YouTube, and I'm glad for that. And before I end this video, there is just one other thing that I have wanted to talk about. I haven't mentioned this to to much other people about it yet. That Kind of a little, a little bit personal, but I decided to tell all of us and all of you about it. When I mentioned in one of my Q and A answer videos, which I, someone of my friend asked if I had a big crush. When I said that the my crush was on my friend Rose, well, recently that is not the same case anymore, and you may wonder. What I'm talking about? Well, this crush, this feelings have taken the next step. Rose and I are together now. We are a couple. And I'm actually glad that I have her as a girlfriend, really. I never felt this strong connected to someone. I never felt the found the right connection to anyone at all, but Rose, she found the connection inside me, and and my feelings for her remain strong, and they've grown stronger for each day that passed, and my love for her is real, absolutely real. I do love her so much. And what more can I say? That this year has been a lot of events. So much has happened. And I would like to hear what you think. What you think? What is great or bad of this year? And what you're hoping for the next year? And and as always, <coughs> I'm Strich Dablo. Subscribe, leave a comment, and as as always, this is Swedish Dablo over out.